This is a very small eye, a 16.34 millimeter nanothalmic eye with a 1.94 millimeter antechamber depth, lens thickness of 5 millimeters, and a very poor endothelial cell count of 800. Uh, gonioscopy here shows angle closure in all quadrants. You can see no angle structures are visualized with the surgical gonial lens that we have present. Um, visualization with, again, a fairly large, very large lens and a very small eye. We're going to start off with a parse planar uh, incision here using a 23 gauge MVR uh, trocar system here, engaging the sclera tangentially here in the infrotemporal quadrant and placing the trocar here present. We're going to start off actually prior to any anterior uh, chamber incisions by placing this trocar in place here and then deepening the anterior chamber uh, shortly. Once we uh, have the trocar in, we'll inject some lidocaine and followed by a dispersive viscoelastic and a cohesive and a soft shell. Again, a very shallow chamber here, uh, making our temporal clear corneal incision. And it's important again to put that trocar in before you make any major incisions. And, you know, despite the fact that we have viscoelastic in the eye, the chamber is still very shallow. The angle is still closed. Here we're going to use a 23 gauge cutter through the um, trocar uh, with the uh, port point pointing posteriorly. Position two and then position three to remove a small aliquot of vitreous while injecting some BSA to the side port to wash the chamber deepen. Usually we don't have to remove a lot, it's really a small amount, maybe just for about five seconds or so on position three on aspiration. And then now we see on gonioscopic examination, we see the chamber has deepened quite nicely. The angle actually is quite visualized now with uh, see some nice reddish uh, reflux into the uh, canal of Schlem and we have deepened the chamber sufficiently for safe fake emulsification, particularly when we have a very poor cornea endothelium. Uh, we want to work away from the uh, anterior chamber uh, from the cornea. And here we see that just to confirm, we have a 10.5 millimeter white to white. Very small eye again, as I said, a 16.3 millimeter eye. Uh, we then proceed with fake emulsification, which actually is performed quite uneventfully thanks to the deepening of the anterior chamber. Very, very important to keep that chamber formed, though, prior to any withdrawal of any instrumentation. Any kind of shallowing of the chamber in this eye could cause chordal expansion and, and positive pressure, or sort of a malignant glaucoma sort of appearance uh, intra-op. Uh, again, prior to removal of the eye handpiece, we're going to inject some cohesive viscoelastic in preparation for the intraocular lens. Here we're using a 53 diopter Zeiss Extreme D um, foldable lens, a diffractive design. You can see that this is a thin foldable lens that can fit through a sub 2.5 millimeter incision here in a foldable design. We don't like piggybacking in this scenario here. There's very little space in the uh, middle segment here. And uh, this foldable eye well is excellent up to 60 diopters. We do uh, ensure we place it into the bag completely. Now, just to finish off, we're going to perform an aerodosonulo hyaloid vitrectomy by enlarging the superior um, aerodotomy that had been performed. The goal here is basically to get this cutter uh, once it's through the iris past cutting the zonules, cutting the peripheral capsule, and, uh, and then into the anterior into the hyaloid and anterior vitreous. And the purpose here is to create a unicameral eye because of the concern we have for postoperative malignant. And that's basically an anterior approach. We then go par parse plane again with the cutter, and we can basically remove a little bit more vitreous here just to keep that chamber deepened. And we can also use it, of course, to do the aerodesonial hyalovitrectomy as well if we wish to, although we were able to perform it anteriorly. Withdrawal of the catheter of the uh, cannula basically then um, ensures we have a watertight seal here on, this, on the uh, scleral surface. Keeping the chamber formed, removing the viscoelastic manually, and completing the case successfully.